Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have a look at Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And then uh, we are going to get my Super Trust Master number 6, and I'm going to use some uh, select tickets. Um, I fooled you with the title, uh, with the order. I'm not going to use the select tickets to get a Super Trust Master. I'm just going to do that with a uh, unit that I pulled naturally, and it is... Drum roll, drum roll, ace here. <laughs> And um, I pulled this from the uh, the five star guaranteed EX ticket that we got at the end of March, and uh, yeah, I was very happy to get him my fourth. He was my very first uh, five star that I ever got, and I used him for a long, long time. And then I think I think I almost put him on my list of characters, uh, my top ten favorite characters from 2018. I'm um, actually maybe I did put him on there. He was like my best like uh, support character or like best. Uh, like uh, Swiss Army Knife or whatever, uh, but he can do a ton of stuff. Uh, in peril, he can uh, finish with his limit break. Uh, he can uh, give you like uh, damage mitigation, uh, restore your MP and stuff. Um, so yeah, I still do use him these days. Um, I used him most recently to beat uh, Marlboro 2.0, and then um, he's always in my uh, world uh, farming teams and my story mission farming teams. Uh, but then here, this is his uh, Super Trust Master, the Black Trump. Uh, this is his best weapon for him. Um, it has a lot of magic for a throwing weapon. I think it's the most uh, magic for a throwing weapon. And then he personally gets a buff for using a throwing weapon uh, to his magic, um, so it's great for him. Uh, it's also really good for uh, Veritas of the Light. Um, she wants to equip one gun and then one throwing weapon, and then this is her best uh, throwing weapon option. I think our best gun option is uh, Barrett's uh, Trustmaster from Final Fantasy VII. Um, I recently used uh, Moogles to get that for her, um, just because she's also one of my favorite characters. And then, uh, yeah, with this uh, Black Trump uh, Super Trustmaster, um, she can now get over 1,000 attack and 1,600 magic, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that is uh, Super Trustmaster number six. And then the third that I've gotten this month after not getting one since uh, November, so. Uh, this has been a pretty exciting time for me. Okay, next, let's use some select tickets. And then uh, these are the uh, finalists uh, here. Uh, first one is uh, Sid. He was just added to the pool today. And then um, he is uh, a great dragoon. I love dragoons. Um, I don't really like the look of him because my favorite thing about, uh, one of my favorite things about dragoons is their very cool armor uh, and helmets that they wear. And uh, Sid is just kind of wearing like a very light armor. Uh, but still, I like dragoons. Uh, they're very easy to finish uh, chains with. Uh, next is a Seaside Nicole. I've been on the verge of using select tickets to get him um, ever since we got select tickets. And also when we got the uh, FanFest uh, uh, select tickets, I wanted to use him on him as well. Um, I already have uh, you know the regular Nicole and I have Zargabath. Uh, but this Nicole has some advantages, uh, like uh, magic mitigation, and then also uh, being able to chain with Freeze. And that can be useful, uh, since I have uh, Sophia, who can also do that. Uh, next up is Gladiolus. He was my first ever 5-star tank, and then I used him for a lot of stuff. And I used his uh, Royal Guard a lot, uh, back when I didn't have any magic tanks. He was my only magic tank. And then I uh, got some pretty uh, exciting clears uh, with him, uh, like Ifrit, 3-star, and uh, Bahamut, and other people, just using him as my magic tank. So, good memories with him. Uh, but also, you know, there's that uh, strat where you can get uh, two Gladioluses doing the Royal Guard and then protecting two of your guys for all damage. And that's really cool. I'd like to be able to do that someday. Uh, next up is Yuna. And then uh, she is a healer and a summoner in one, which is actually surprisingly useful uh, to have in one unit. Um, I do have Ayaka and Rena as healers, and I have Rydia as a summoner. Uh, but just to be able to do both of those things uh, together would be uh, pretty cool. And then the last finalist is Ignacio. And uh, yeah, if you know me, you know that I like finishers. And then uh, later when he gets enhancements, uh, he will become a very nice uh, buffer and uh, imbuer. So that will be interesting. Uh, but yeah, those are my five uh, finalists. Next, let's go into... Here, the select summon. I have 20 right now. And my selection is going to be. Drum roll. 
drum roll, Sid. <laughs> and then uh, the reason why I'm choosing him is because I feel like he is just such a good investment. Um, as the game evolves, uh, Sid is actually going to evolve along with the game. Um, so he's just going to be like at the top of the, uh, the damage game for a very, very long time. Um, I just checked uh, Ultima, one of the, uh, the JP uh, kind of strategy sites for FFBE, and he's still in like the top four uh, damage dealers. So yeah, knowing that, I feel very comfortable using select tickets for this guy. And then um, also, you know, looking ahead at uh, what I want in the future. Um, I want uh, Charlotte. Uh, she'll be a good magic tank upgrade over Bosch, who I'm using now. I want uh, Regina, who is another, uh, you know, big time finisher, uh, but works differently from Sid. Um, so like where I'm not able to use one, I'll be able to use the other. So they'll be nice, uh, you know, uh, to complement each other. And then the last one that I really want is uh, Warrior of Light, who is way, way out there. Um, so yeah, I should be able to refill my resources in time for all three of those characters. So yeah, I don't feel any, uh, I don't feel any uh, hesitation using select tickets for Sid now. Um, however, even though I have picked up Sid, I'm going to try to use him as little as possible, um, just because he is so strong. Uh, but just to have him like as a tool in my back pocket, in case I run across the trial that I can't beat, um, I can use him for that. And um, actually, I have been trying uh, Gilgamesh, uh, Kai, since he's come out. Um, I'm trying to do like a, a slow clear with like a five member party, just to, you know, slowly work my way through all of his phases. Um, I haven't been able to get my defenses up high enough, um, so I might just have to try to one punch him with Sid. <laughs> and weirdly, nobody in my friends list has ever put up a Sid, so I haven't had a chance to try him out. Um, so just by getting my own, I'll be able to uh, try him out. Okay, but now that we have him, let's uh, let's go ahead and make a seven star. Why not? And then I'm going to uh, get his trust master. So let's do that first. I think this will be the other one. Nope, oh, there he is. Uh, we'll put it into the one that I want to uh, turn into a crystal. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. And then uh, this is a nice uh, trust master, even for somebody that is not jumping. It's a 50% uh, true double hand, and then uh, some LB fill rate, I think it is. That's pretty good on uh, every, anybody who wants true double hand. Okay, excellent. And then let's convert him into a prism. There he is. And finally, let's wake, awaken this guy. I've been running low on a gill lately, just because I've been pulling a lot of random uh, seven stars. Uh, it's been nice, like Kurasame, uh, Barbarisha, I was pretty happy about that one, so yeah. Okay, there he is. Very cool. Uh, let's give him some uh, power pots, and then we'll level him up, and then, uh, yeah, we'll meet you back on the other side. Okay, there he is, level 120. I got his attack up to 55, so he needs one more of the uh, the king pot, and then he'll be ready. And then I guess we'll uh, equip him real quick. Let's see uh, how that goes. Okay, so real quick, I just equipped him. I didn't really worry about, like, uh, jump uh, damage, but just to see how, I could, how high I could get his attack. And 2300, I was not expecting him to go that high. <laughs> um, I may or may not do a review of Sid, just because I feel like most people have a pretty good idea of, like, uh, how to use him and why to use him and stuff. Uh, but it might be interesting to try him, like, different uh, setups. 
like uh, double handing uh, this toss spear, uh, double handing a one handed spear but with an element, uh, dual wielding, that kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe um, I'll do a video about Sid uh, later. Okay, but I think that will do it for this video. And uh, yeah, good luck with your polls, and we'll see you again. Take care.